What is up, guys? Sam I'm back with another review. We are reviewing the final figure from McFarlane's Suicide Squad. We are taking a look at Harley Quinn. She is the last piece that you need to, or that I need, to build King Sharks. The next video will be we'll putting we'll be putting King Shark together. So you have the big open window in the front, and you can see the card in the back, and then right over here again, there's the instructions on how to build King Shark. A really cool image of Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. That's the card you're going to be getting, and then all the figures from the line i'm still debating whether i'm gonna get the variants of blood sport and peacemaker i'm probably not but we'll see we'll see what happens so let's open this up let's see if the figure's a pickup or a pass and uh let's see the lower part of king shark okay so let's go ahead and see the accessory so you do get a card of margot robbie as harley quinn i actually really like how this looks i love the the image here and i just think margot robbie is gorgeous and then right there on the back you have the description and then she also comes with a it's a soft rubber material the is it called the javelin for one of the characters or is that the name of the character i forget but she has his weapon on here it's just all gold there's a little bit of detailing it's a little bit warped too but um soft rubber material and then you also get the dc base and you also get the lower half of king shark I'm so hyped for this. Look at the shorts. Soft over material right there. So we'll build him in the next video. But let's go ahead and bring out Harley Quinn. And here she is. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't think she looks bad. I don't think she looks bad at all. Um, it's. I mean, get the. we'll get a close up here on the head sculpt. It somewhat looks like Har uh, Margot Robbie in some angles, but it doesn't in other angles. So you have the tattoos there. You have the heart on the right cheek lipstick and then you can see i wish they would have given her more of the white skin they didn't they just gave her like a, a regular skin color but you can see the tattoos a little bit more so you can see the one that she has on the right forearm and then she has a little band here and then she has a, a j right there hopefully you guys can see that can make that out and then on the back she has property of i think that says no no one i believe that's no one right there so you can see that i mean it did a good job in putting the tattoos on her and then on the this is all soft rubber material here guys the the lower part of the dress so if we look at the tattoos oh they even whoa it goes all the way up so it says p plus n with a arrow going through the heart pudding pudding cups and then she has like a bunch of numbers there and then the uh was it the jester so that's it for for the the tattoos so i'm glad they added the tattoos the tattoos actually look really good again i just wish they would have given her the the more uh yellow or white skin and then she's got like i mentioned she's got like the blonde hair with the black and the red and then you can see the detailing in the dress here and then you have her lower legs and the black boots um it's probably not my favorite figure from this line and the thing i don't like about it either is the joints you can see a lot of like the cuts and the like the little screws and then i don't like that ball joint that they have right here in the wrist area that's it just really it totally makes the figure look it really it makes it look bad i mean look at that how you can see it right here as well and then that knee cut i'm just not a fan of it so i'm not going to get into the articulation um Let's see how she holds on to her weapon. I mean, you guys can probably tell. I mean, this is... I'm not really happy with the figure, how it turned out. I mean, it's a great... Look Look at this. See, I don't like how that looks. Look at that. I don't like how it looks. I'm not lying. Um, and then look at that big gap that you can see right there in the shoulder. I'm trying to get her to hold on to this here. So, does she even hold on to this right? I mean, there should be a... I don't even know. I mean, maybe if you go a little bit lower on the... I don't know. It doesn't look like it. she holds on to it right. And again, I'm kind of upset that Warner Brothers is not allowing weapons for their characters in DC because these figures here, these characters in the movie, they had a lot of weapons. And especially Harley Quinn, she had a really cool action scene where she had a bunch of guns. And of course, she had the staff. But the gun scene was really, really cool. Um, but overall, I mean, I think it's a decent figure. If you're a Harley Finn, uh, Quinn fan, you're going to want this in your collection. I only got it just so I can get the bottom half of King Shark. And not only that, I, I wanted to build a team too. So let me know in the comments down below if this is a pickup. Is it a pass? And what do you think about the figure overall? What do you think it is missing? Again, for me, it's the paint apps on the skin color. I think she should have been a little bit more... Uh, like that pasty pale white that she you know that she is in the movie i don't know why they didn't do that but overall let me know your thoughts down below stay tuned because we're going to build king shark in the next video we'll see you soon guys